Have you actually lived today? Queso. What is Boomer hauling today? We did the river recently, like last week, right? Right, last but week. But now we've rented two of those and we're gonna go down the scary part of the river, which so, is rapids. I have a question, but this is way more important. What do you think of this hat? It's terrible. The purpose of this channel is to encourage you to live now. That means different things for different people, but dude, whatever you do, get outside. Here's how we get outside over the last week. If you wanna to commit to going outside over the next week, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you can start to live your life untethered. We have stowaways this time. We are taking... What's up, baby? Aubrey, Dobbly, Jesse, Kaden. I think Josie's a little terrified, but it's okay. We have full instructions of its nose and feet down the river. If you're gonna go, nobody's gonna die. Battle hard, battle hard, go stop paddling. Battle hard, battle hard, battle hard. Come on, Ob. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Grab her, grab her. Grab Aubrey. We're good, it's slow here, you're fine, you're fine. Is she there? Minor issue, our raft that we rented is deflating. Are you worried? Nah, I've already been in once. <laughs> there's our people back there, and there's more rapids already, woohoo! Like, uh, bye. So our boat is deflating, but we found Rodney, this, the rogue scuba diver, keeping the river clean and safe and saving us. I will not let you down ever because I love you. I spy a couple little bears in the tree picking blackberries. <laughs> They're like nature's gummy bears. Want some? I want some. We made it for four and a half hours. Um, only one person fell in the boat. There was a lot of water and there was a lot of rowing. There was bread and salami. We were entering the first rapid and of course I had a sandwich in my hand and the oar in my other hand thinking it's a good time to have a sandwich. And then I look ahead and Aubrey just like falls in the water. We ran out of air in our boat and it just folded in half and I went in. And I was like, I tried eating as fast as I can before she drowned. And I was only able to get like three fourths of the way through it. I was like, Ugh! and I threw it up and it landed in the water. And then the rest of the trip, we have like lettuce and salami and bread, just like floating around and mayonnaise. It's actually, my feet are really soft now um, because mayonnaise apparently is good, like lotion. So it worked out really well. Having proven ourselves unskilled with a paddle, we uh, got a motor. Bunch of chewy. Okay, Kaylin, this is it. We're doing a trip for you. Do you have any idea where we're going? No. Are you excited? Yeah. Show me your excitement. We... We're off to an adventure, but we just parked the rig around the corner. Right here. We did a little bit of this first. Now we're gonna go somewhere secret that Kaylin, it's for her birthday. She didn't even know about it. Should we tell her? Not yet. Part of it's about enjoying the journey, man. And we're on our way to our secret destination. And look what it looks like. It's just beautiful here makes me so happy to be going places. You should, you should go places. I'm to your life, bro. We are in the Sisters Bend RV Park in Oregon, which is our favorite private RV, RV park we've ever been to. We are actually here like a month ago or less. And we yeah. got Kaylin something for her birthday. We came here specifically for Kaylin because there's things that Kaylin likes and we're gonna do one in like an hour. What do you got? Oh, it's rodeo. Oh my gosh. Thank you, mama. Thank you, Paul. In the home of the Fun. I like the bear racing and the Broncos. And I'm so glad that we went and saw the animals too. Some guy came running after because I was waving the camera. He's like, hey, uh, where are you guys from? He thought we were from Pete or something. He's like, we're no, not. We're not. We, we love the animals. Check it out. It was super cool. Um, 
I was really, really impressed with the kids there. They raised these animals. They were so responsible, super cute. Future Farmers America 4-H, I'm all for it. We typically stay at state parks, national parks, even county parks. We find that those are some of the best, most spacious parks. We typically stay away from like private RV parks because usually they're about making money. So you're really crammed in. They're always not always so nice. Yet we found one that we love. It is beautiful. It's spacious. It's green. It's well maintained and the concierge, like incredible customer experience. What she's saying is we just found the number one private RV park we've ever been to in our entire travels over the course of the last year. And it is the Sisters Bend RV Park here in Sisters, Oregon. Wait, are you pulling us out of here? You, you can't do that, you're a girl. I've done it before and you're a boy. You better watch what you say. <laughs> Let's see how many things we hit on the way out, shall we? What do you think, baby? Can mom do it? be turning wide around corners. In fairness, she did pretty good. She went down the wrong way on one one-way thing and only hit a tree and scraped the top off a little bit and only looked a little perplexed most of the time and drove on some grass, but nothing's probably damaged. Yeah, I know it's kind of cliche, but the journey is the destination. When you're out traveling, don't just beeline for your destination, but notice what you're passing and maybe stop. This is the big obsidian flow, the result of an eruption about 1300 years ago. It consists of obsidian and pumice, which is glass, lava that cooled without crystallizing. It's about 1.1 square miles and 17 stories high. This is the 500 foot chasm in the Rogue Gorge. At the bottom of this 45 foot drop flow 410,000 gallons every minute, which is enough to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool. It looks kind of tempting, right? But it's 44 degrees and even the fish don't grow very big because it's so bloody cold. See that stump? It's alive, look at this. The top of this stump is still living because the roots from that tree grafted into that stump before they cut this one down. How cool is that? And this tree is, very much alive. Whoa. Dude, I still want to jump in there except for the dying part. I'm not sure if you can really understand how intense that water is. It's, it's nuts. To see more of our adventures, hit that subscribe button. All of this traveling's made us really appreciate nature. So we've got a 24 seven wild animal cam up there on the top right. Right below that's the video YouTube thinks you want to watch. We can't wait to share our adventures with you.